Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Zendrop. Once you are considering to start an e-commerce or a dropshipping store, Zendrop is an app that you should definitely consider. One of the reasons why I recommend Zendrop and why numerous persons recommend Zendrop for dropshipping is because of its quick shipping time. And also with Zendrop, you'll get access to over a million different products. And another plus with Zendrop is you'll be getting some of the best prices around. If you think that AliExpress is affordable, just wait until you start using Zendrop. You can see fast shipping and you can also automate your drop shipping and they offer products in US so you'll gain access to over 500,000 plus exclusive products from their catalog that ship from the US in 5 to 8 days. Now that we have an overview of what Zendrop does, let me show you how to sign up. To sign up, all you'll need to do is go onto zendrop.com. Then you are going to tap on create your free account. Once you have tapped on create your free account, you are going to be redirected to a page on which you are going to enter your email address and password or you can sign up using your Google account. Once you are finished signing up, you will be redirected to this page and you can see last step connect your store to Zendrop. So all you have to do now is simply paste in your Shopify store URL right here. So all I would need to do is go into Shopify. Once in Shopify you can see it right here so I'll simply tap on online store to view. Then I'm going to copy the URL. So let's do that real quick. Then go back into Zendrop and if you don't have a Shopify store as yet, you could simply tap on don't have and start a free trial right there. But let me quickly enter my URL right there, then I'll tap on connect. Once you have tapped on connect, you're going to give it a few seconds. Then you're going to be prompt to log in to your Shopify store as you can see right there. Head to this page and all you have to do now is tap on install app. After you have tapped on install app, you're going to be redirected to the Zendrop dashboard. Just give it a few seconds to load up. As you can see, it is loading up right here. And from here, you'll be able to start searching for products and adding them to your store. So for example, you can scroll down and you can see the new arrivals as you can see right there. Or if you want, you can tap right where you see search products and you could simply type in the product that you'd want. So let's say for example, I want a bracelet to add to my store. All I will need to do is simply type in bracelets right here. Let me do that real quick. Then tap on enter. And by the way, you can also decide where you would like it to ship from. You can also decide the price range as you can see right there. Once I've tapped on enter, you will see different bracelet styles as you can see right here. So let's say for example, I would like to add this bracelet to my store. All I would need to do is tap on add to import list. Then you can see that it has been added. So all I will need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on my products. Once I've tapped on my products, you're going to see the bracelet or the item that I've added. Now all I will need to do is tap on review and publish. Once you have done that, you are going to see this pop up and from here you can see the product image. You can also see the product tags. You can add a new tag if you want. You can tap on descriptions and you'll be able to edit the description. You can tap on variants. So if you would like to remove a variant, you can do that. And you can also tap on images so you can remove an image if you want. Once everything is to your liking, all you'll need to do now is tap on publish to my store. Once you have tapped on publish to my store, you're going to tap on got it. Then you're going to tap on confirm. And you can see publishing. Then it is going to be published to your store. Once it has been published to your store and you have made a sale, you can go over to the left hand menu option and from there you will be able to track your orders. 
So you could tap on orders right here and you are going to be able to see all of the orders that you get on your Shopify store. And from there, you'll also see the unpaid orders. So from here, you'll be able to organize your shipping. And any other extras that you'd like to add, for example, let's say you'd like to do some white labeling and do your own branding. You can also do that using Zendrop. All you will need to do is tap on branding and you will need to upgrade or you could start a seven day free trial. And you can see with the upgrade, you'll get $100 in order credit. You'll get access to top winning products, automated fulfillment, custom branding, print and demand, unlimited orders, and numerous other features. And again, to upgrade, you can see right here, the price goes from $49 per month to up to $79 per month. And you can see the different features that you'll get access to. But you can stay on the free plan if you want. With the free plan, you'll still get access to over a million products, world-class support, product sourcing, quick order processing, and industry-leading shipping time. Let's go back into Zendrop. You can see it right here. Let's close out of this. So you can see some other extra features that you can get right here. The bundle boxes. And you can also get the AliExpress import on which you'll be able to import products from AliExpress by simply pasting in the URL. And to get access to the trendy products, you can tap on trendy products right here from the left hand corner. And again, to get access to this, you will need to be on the paid plan. So there are numerous more features that are on Zendrop, but you'll need to be on the paid plan to get access to it. But once you have added the product as I have added, all you'll need to do now is go back in to your Shopify store. Once on your Shopify store, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on products. Once you have tapped on products, you should see the item that you have added as you can see right here. And from here, you'll be able to do any editing that you want. So you can remove variants from this section. You can also edit the descriptions. You can edit the title as you can see right here. And if you would like to remove any image, you can do that. All you have to do is simply select the image. So let's say I would like to remove this image. All I would have to do is tap on it, then tap on delete media in the top right hand corner to remove it. And you can scroll down and you can add product categories. You can add tags if you want. You can customize it in any way that you want. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And if you decide to use Zendrop, please let me know in the comment section. And thank you for watching.